Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.3 on VMA workstation. Okay, first go to Kali official website and download. It is Kali.org. Then click on Get Kali or Download. Both are same. Click on Download. Then select the installer images, which means it is ISO file. If you want free built images, you have to click on this virtual missions. I want to install from the scratch so select installer images now if you want to download older versions click on this Kali Linux releases but if you want to download latest release that is 2025.3 click on this drop down or if you want to download by using torrent you have to click on torrent I want to download by using direct method so click on this download button no need to register see download started and its size is about 4.3 gigabytes I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded in your case wait until download completes once download is completed then open vma workstation then click on create a new virtual machine or go to file and select new virtual machine both are same click on next then select the installer disk image file that is iso select browse then go to downloads see here i have the kali linux 2025.3 iso image select it and click on open then click on next select Linux then select version as Debian because Kali Linux is of type Debian so select latest version of the Debian then click on next then provide the name for the virtual machine I am giving Kali 2025 3VM name can be anything then select the folder or location to store this virtual machine files and folders by clicking on this browse button then select the path where you have the enough space Now provide the virtual hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes. Then click on next. See this is the virtual machine summary. If you want to modify any one of these settings, click on customize hardware. See here memory is selected 2 gigabytes. I want to increase it to 4 gigabytes. So click on customize hardware. And then here I am giving 4 gigabytes. Or you can use this pointer to up and down to increase or decrease the memory. Click on close. Then click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Or right click and select Settings. Or go to VM and select Settings. All three options are same. If you want to provide description for this virtual machine, click Provide here. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on Power on this virtual machine. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is graphical install and hit enter if cursor is grayed out just press alt control from your keyboard to release the cursor select the language and click on continue select location see here the selected location will be used to set your time zone and also example to help select the system locally normally this should be the country where you like so select from this list if you are unable to find find then select other okay so I am going to select United States then click on continue select the keyboard I am going to select American English then click on continue provide the host name or computer name later also you can change this one then click on continue your domain provide the domain name otherwise keep it as blank and continue now we have to set up our create user provide the full name for the user i am giving art to schools. this is not the username click on continue this is the username if you want some other then provide that name then click on continue set the password for this user remember this password later we need this password to log into kali linux 2025.3 virtual machine click on continue See, all time zones are based on United States because we have selected location as United States. If you want to modify, if you don't want these time zones, click on back, back, and you can select the location. Okay, I'm okay with this one. So select Eastern as the time zone and continue. Partition disks, I'm going with guided use entire disk and continue. Select that disk to partition and continue all files in one partition then continue 
see this is just confirmation so select finish partitioning and write changes to disk or if you want to undo changes to partitions you have to select this one select this one and continue this is just confirmation write changes to disk select yes and continue software selection see here by default it has selected xfc this is the default desktop environment for kali linux if you want to genome mark id you have to select and these are the optionally selected top 10 most popular tools if you don't want you can unselect it i want so select them and click on continue see installation has been started this will take time install the grub bootloader to your primary drive select yes and continue select the device and continue See installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media so that you boot into new system rather than restarting the installation media okay so right click on this virtual machine go to settings then click on cd dvd in device status and select these both check boxes then click on ok then click on continue to restart Now provide the username that you have set. Click on login. Now open terminal. Now verify the version or slash etc os hyphen release. See we have installed Kali Linux 2025.3 and its ID is like Debian. Okay. Now verify the IP of this machine. IF config. See, this is the IP of the mission. Now run. Now update the packages. sudo apt update. Ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Then provide the password of this currently loud in user. Type and hit enter. Go to application menu. See here we have the different applications. In each section we have different applications. Okay, so we can practice them. So in this video we have seen how to download and install Kali Linux 2025.3 on VMA Workstation. Okay, for more tutorials please subscribe my channel. Thank you.